Hey all my fellow sales professionals out there, this is Gary, the fist pump guy over at Bondi's Toyota Enterprise, Alabama. I gotta deliver a car today, I'm in it right now. It's a TRD Pro Tundra, cement color. As you can see by the embroider here, it's my third Pro this week, today it's a Tundra. While I was driving, I thought I'd share something with you. I just wanted to give you some information or maybe some advice. We often talk about when we're closing a customer, giving the customer service after the sale. My question to you is, what are you really doing for the customer? Because we often talk a lot about what we're going to do. A lot of times we don't follow through with it. So we spend all this time building value in ourselves and the product and service after the sale just kind of disappears. So today I'm delivering a vehicle. What are you willing to do for your customer? I'm not talking about going out and spending a bunch of money on them, which sometimes helps whether you're you know, spending money on lunch or whatever the case may be. But I, you know, deliver vehicles. I like to do it personally because uh, it gives me an opportunity to engage with a customer maybe I've never met in person, and or take a picture with them, which I do a lot of. But one thing I like to do is just a, a piece of advice. I like to have the customer call me for their service appointments. They don't always do that, so it's not something where I'm just getting overrun with it because they still like to call the service. But I prefer to do that so I know when they're here. And while they're here, I can catch up with them, see how their car is doing, maybe do a video testimonial while they're here. Um, and sometimes when they're having issues with their car, I like for them to call me because I want to know what the issue is. Maybe I can help them with it um, versus getting a run around in service and or them getting charged a diagnostic for something that I can fix in two seconds. Um, and what that does is keep value with that customer and also keeps credibility with them. So in the future, whenever they get ready to buy another car, the family member gets to buy another car, they think of you because they trust you. I, for one, am not going to do anything um, falsified or anything to jeopardize my reputation or uh, my integrity with people to just get a car deal. But if you built the value in yourself and your product and then service after the sale, you continue to have that credibility customer. A lot of times you can keep their um, business even if you're not following up with them like you need to be because we all fall short of that. I don't think anybody follows up like they need to. So today as you're taking care of your customer and you're making all these promises to the customer about service after sale, ask yourself, what do you really do for your customer? There again, every once in a while I'll do something for a customer like buy floor mats or take care of a service bill or maybe some touch-up paint or something. Kind of uh, insignificant money, uh, minute to the point to where maybe you're getting a future business by doing so. I'm not saying go out and buy a bunch of stuff for your customer, but gift cards, anything like that helps just to kind of keep your name in your face and retain value with that customer. That's just a helpful hint from the Fist Pump guy. I appreciate all you guys watching. Have a great day. Follow the Fist Pump Enterprise.